let's meet in court. That's what Nairobi Governor Evans Kidaro's response has been to those accusing him of contributing to the downfall of the Mumia Sugar Company. Kidaro cites his track record, which he says is proof enough that he can never be associated with the failures at Mumia Sugar. Let's join KTN's Ian Wafula with those details. Hapa Mumias. Mumias did not just die. I want you, Mr. President, as you consider bringing more man, you pursue the criminals who stole from Mumiasi na prefect wow. Mweshmua, prefect Yahawa criminals is the governor of Nairobi. Claims that Nairobi Governor Dr. Ivan Skidero termed as malicious and part of a scheme to tarnish his name. And now, days later, he came out confident that it was only the law that could prove these claims wrong. Lakini, inaiza kuwawo, mutu anajua vile ili kuwako, kesi ziku kotini ya wale ambayo wamechukua pesa mumias, is in court. Jina langu haliko hapo. Speaking during a church service at Getsimani Ministry in Mbakasi constituency, Hidero said that his track record spoke for itself and that he has never been associated with failure. He says the Mumia Sugar Company thrived during his tenure and should not be linked to the collapse of the company, now in debt of up to 6 billion shillings. We demand as the people of Kakamega that the billions that Hidero looted from this factory must be brought back. We give it to the people of Kakamega. Mimi maisha yangu yote nimefanya kazi kwa nguvu nimekuwa director at the age of 29 Mtu anauliza mimi nimepata pesa api Nimekuwa managing director of Smith Klein Beecham looking after 47 African countries with head office in Lagos na Nairobi Kwani nilikuwa nalipwa na na ndizi Kidero, who was at the helm of the sugar company for nine years, claimed that the bailing out of the company by the government in itself was not enough to return the company to its former glory. He says the answer lies in addressing issues such as sugar importation and, quote-unquote, sugar can poaching. Then from 2003 to 2012, but as Kidero took to the pulpit to defend himself, an even larger group was backing him. They called themselves the Luya leaders from Western Kenya in Nairobi. And theirs was to term the claims against Kidero as political. We cannot all be blaming someone, yet we as leaders know the truth. Success is success and cannot be hidden as our leaders now purport. Despite the 1 billion shilling bailout and the 2 billion shilling approved by the National Assembly for rights issue, Mumia Sugar Company remains in debt of 5 billion shillings. And on the sidelines, farmers continue to cry foul, most of whom, it is reported, have opted to go into maize farming instead. Ian Wafula, KTN.